we are back back with this video man you already know we in your city yo because i'm on your tv right now <laughs> ah let's go. go let's go man so you already know what it is man i just saw this pop up on the timeline it said real time with bill ma bill maher and it had I saw a clip of Charlemagne on there, and the topic was reparations. I think this is an amazing topic. Let's go. Um, Talking about Charlemagne. Yeah. One thing I like about Charlemagne is that he's not afraid to tap into these um, um, uncomfortable conversations. And I love that. Last month, the Biden administration said, speaking of money, they want to study reparations. Study it. Mm. Um, compensate descendants of slaves for unpaid labor by their ancestors. Jen Psaki, the press spokesman, said, we'll see what happens in the legislative process. Um, I'm curious where you are on this issue. I mean, it's a, it's, there's a collective guilt that's asking individuals to recompense. I think that's how we would frame that. Um, listen, I think reparations have to happen for black people, you know what I mean? Because slavery was America's original sin. And I really don't think no good is going to come to this country until they atone for their original sin, which was slavery. I mean, we, my, my ancestors literally built this country for free. So when you see all of this money being thrown around, you know, $27 trillion in national debt, $1.7 trillion for failed F-35 fire. Technically, what I'm learning is it technically was not for free. This, you have to blame the kings that that shipped off all the slaves, the African kings that shipped off all the slaves for a fee for what they wanted. So technical one. Yeah, free. but the people who was doing the labor weren't getting paid. That's free. Yes, but they were chipped by their government. Yeah, okay, and so they, they paid they a got small the nominal government, fee. The governments, our governments got, not our, the African kingdom and those kings that shipped off the ones, they got compensated well. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a small, it was a small nominal fee like putting gas in the boat to get over there pretty much was the money they got back for that. It doesn't. Oh no. Yeah, of course. To, you know, what they experienced and they didn't get paid for it. They knew, they didn't know what they was getting into. I bet you they had a feeling it wasn't no parade, but how it went down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel him when he's saying though, but yeah, I understand your point too. Million for dogs. Half a million for fucking dogs. It's like, if you're black in this country, you have to be like, well, what the hell? What's up with us? You know what I mean? So for me personally, but, I, I, I but again, I, I don't even see what the issue is. I don't well, the, the issue is that that's argue. the collective guilt. But individual white people are saying, I didn't do it. Listen. And and my ancestors didn't even do it. And and, and that's why they haven't it hasn't been paid out, because it's too much of a question. It's too many. It's too many things behind that. Why they can't they haven't just paid that out like that. That's what I believe. And, and you are not your ancestors. That's that's I'm, the, a the, I'm a descendant of those of those answers. I know, but okay. hey, listen, when a debt is old, a debt is old, period. But you've got a lot of money, so you say you should get more. Um, should I get more? Well, no, I, you I'm, should, I'm, you should listen, get a check. Yes, I'm not. I'm 97 percent West African born in Charleston, South Carolina. So I should I should definitely get a check. But if if if, it, if it's to the point where, you know what, you make too much money, we don't think you deserve it. Cool. Give it to somebody who needs it. But to act like black people in this country don't deserve reparations is. Absolutely well, nuts to me. Hey, this is what I want. Put it like this. America, just treat black people like they're F-35 fighter jets. You had $1.7 trillion to throw at that bullshit. Throw it at the people who actually built this country. But, okay. I don't see how anybody, okay. but again, anybody you, can dispute that. But again, <laughs> you didn't build this country. So you, what? Per, you personally did. So, so what? I'm a descendant I'm, of... But I'm, I'm saying... So what he's saying true. is... What he's saying is... We can't pay the descendants. We would need to pay to pay the people that we built. We should. I mean, duh. You can't go back and pay them because they're no longer hard. here. But you ought to be able to pay their descendants. Yeah. When God sends generational curses, it's generational curses on yeah. down to the down to the down to the, to, the, to the bottom. So what does that mean? Slave is slavery is a if one hundred percent. And the curse. descendants are still uh, reaping the reper the repercussions but, psychologically. From that, because still in society, it's not an equal playing field. It, it ain't like this. So I feel like for 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 black people, you have to in general. I don't. What I feel like would help is going to be something that's going to really help help the community. I don't believe it's stimulus checks paying. I think that's the worst thing to do. Just pass out like a stimulus check. But what you do is you give more, like you gave gave the Indian tribes and things like that. But you have to give more like that. But I'm just saying, giving somebody a twenty five hundred dollar check, 
I, I think it's, it's a terrible, terrible choice. I get it. I get it. We're, 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 we can't write a check to a ghost, you know. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Because, you know... The... Especially when the ghost's descendants are still Well, that's a descent. Here. Exactly. Uh, listen, let me ask you a question. How do you write the wrong of slavery, then? Well, I mean, I think reparations come in, can come in many forms. Why not? Cash right, is king. It's you. America. No, no, I, I, I agree. I mean, I think reparations do <clears throat> come in many forms. We should be spending <clears throat> much, much more on the schools that serve black children. Yeah. We should be spending much, much more on the infrastructure in black and in, in predominantly black communities. We should be doing all sorts of things to close the opportunity gap, which is enormous and which we've done a terrible job clo closing. A debt is owed, and that's one of the ways you repay it. Simple the as problem that. I have with the reparations <clears throat> conversation <clears throat> is the questions you were asking a moment ago, it's practically a non-starter. I mean, in terms of practicality. No one's going to agree on the terms. No one's going to agree exactly on the eligibility criteria. Nobody's going to agree on the amount. And it's politically very unpopular. And while we're talking about something that I don't think is passable, and that's why Obama didn't talk about it well. Why is it not passable? But no, but he said, but he's saying, I'm telling, that's what I'm saying too. Like for the longest, I was like, man, we need reparation. We need reparation. No, we need more funding that goes into, that can build black people up even way stronger. Mentally, but, uh -huh. but, but Charlemagne is talking specific. He said cash. cash. I think that's, just think about this. Slow check. Think about this. I saw this happen with the stimulus checks. Yeah. And I'm not. And I wasn't great. But some some people did write about they they bread. Some people went crazy and went to the went to the mall, shopping malls and, right. and bought uh -huh. them. So yeah. I don't believe the cash is the way. I mean, I get it. And since there are other forms of reparations, I'm with that. It doesn't have to be cash. Like, yeah. Let's build up our communities. Let's build up the schools in you know, impoverished communities, but also we need to build up the impoverished community because once you build up the school, you're only going to build up this little nucleus mm -hmm. here and you still got poverty all around. What's going to happen when they go back to the home environment? Absolutely. It's not much, not much change and not much growth. Yeah. Centers, uh, jobs, you know, stores, you know, things that's going to help enhance I the agree. community, but also deal with the people uh, the mental health piece also needs to Absolutely. be used. So yeah, it doesn't so have said, to be it's a, it's a community three, uh, what's better? 360 or 180? 360 is full circle. Well, a uh, community, African-American community, the whole 360. And I believe that once you change a whole 360, now the black community has a different eye they look at it a different way. They can build differently and we can we get a chance to restart mm -hmm. as a community. Yeah. But just cashing out checks is about the dumbest thing I think that America could do, just giving checks and yeah. saying this is right and I'm wrong. Right. Because it's about yeah. to go right back into the, into the hands. Exactly. You know, so, exactly. you know, anyway, anyway, let's go. Yeah. What would Candace Owens say? Good question. <laughs> Quite. Why is it not passable? Look at public opinion polls. It's just not going to get done. And and that's not about the merits. That's about the appeal out there. And in the meantime, there's so much we can <clears throat> and should be doing that could be called reparations about the debt we owe. Well, let's change the name. Call it economic equity packages. Whatever well, I mean, it is, as, uh, uh, as, as uh, he uh, said, a you, debt you is old. You could say Obamacare. Yeah, that's it. Which, which helped black and brown people well, way more care. than white people. Obviously, all people can sign up for Obamacare, but that is the practical effect of it, is a form of reparations. Um, you know, I mean, the, there's a tax that everybody... I don't know, but Obamacare didn't do what they thought it was going to do. So I can't really say what Obamacare... It, it did something, but it didn't do, like, how we thought it was going to be. I don't have any facts on that. I got I just you. feel I got like you. it may have been more expensive than yeah. it was supposed yeah. to, or yeah. what we expected. But I don't, I don't really remember the, the details. specifics, so I can't really speak on that. It's, it, I don't think it's capped. It's, you know, rich people pay more. Those kind of solutions are different. I mean, can I listen to me what Glenn Lowry says? He says, okay. it frames the moral claims African Americans legitimately have in the wrong way. The idea this debt can be paid is a terrible idea. That's, um, that's his. Here's the thing once again, it's white people not wanting to be held accountable. Well, that's a black person. Well, oh, he's okay, a black person. Glenn said Lowry that. said this. Okay, what's his name? Glenn Lowry. You know Glenn okay. Lowry. Well, I just think that it's a debt that is owed to black people in America. Simple. And I, I'll ask the question, if y'all don't think it should be cash, what should it be? If y'all don't think it should be, if there should be any reparations to black people, right. what should it be? All right. So... No, I want to know, do you think that black people should get reparations? I think it should be more like what Frank and I are saying. Different, okay. uh, not, not a check? No. I think it should be done more by class. I mean, 21% of blacks are below the poverty line. So that means we're giving checks to 80% of people who are not in poverty. Shouldn't it better be done that if we're going to pass I, I, out I, I, money? I, 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 like what I was starting the show with. If we're going to pass out money, let's pass it, it out with to the, the poor and disenfranchised. 
Yes. Absolutely. Well, and 100%. Is, is a one-time check going to change a life as much as a real investment in education? As right. much as a real investment in young people's social programs? I think it's I mean, I, I think that. a debt is owed, and I have no problem paying it in cash. I'm just talking about where the money goes to help the most number of people I the agree. quickest. Yeah. Yeah. I think it should be all of that simply because there is really no price point that you could put on reparations for slavery. Yeah. Like, none. Like, there's no number you can put on what no, my no, ancestors I, went through right, in this country. Yeah, he's absolutely that. right. You I can't totally number that. I totally agree with that. And I, I feel the same way, too. Okay, well, it doesn't matter if 80% are above the poverty line and 21% to me are below. It doesn't matter. It's still our race was affected by slavery, whether some of them have come up, you know, people are above or below. That doesn't matter. Yet, I do still, still feel, though, that it doesn't have to be completely cast. I don't think that's a smart thing to do. I think uh, additional resources in the communities, especially that are suffering the, the most, need more than monetary. Thanks. Yeah. Um, I think, so Dave Chappelle, when he did that reparation skit, he didn't do it just to be funny. He did it to prove, to show um, it was satire, but he, uh, he did it to teach. Mm-hmm. And he just made it extreme. Okay. So all you got to do is go look at the Dave Chappelle reparations. That's why he did it for that reason. Mm -hmm. So that's other ways you do that money. Don't just give checks because we're going we're gonna to put it. I'm just saying not all of us, but there's a big percentage that's going to put it right back in the hands. Yeah. And you're not going to benefit. Your family ain't going to benefit. Right. Anymore. The goal is to break the cycle. S exactly. So when you have more information, technically, you know, you do better with more information. We suffer because we have lack of knowledge, but we suffer because of the lack of applied knowledge. So it's a double whammy. If you don't have the knowledge, you're not you're not you're gonna suffer. But if you have the knowledge and you're still not changing to better it for your family, families, 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 then it's you know, you're gonna continue. The so, cycle continues. So what you know what has to be done first before you can do any of that? The generational curse has to be broken. Because Here's of the, the curse deliverance. The yeah. cur through deliverance. If the curse has not been broken, then it's not they're not the information is not gonna be received mm -hmm. and then we back it. Uh, uh, they holding me back and all this. So you have to break break the scales, break the curse, mm -hmm. so that we could, as a people, can move forward. Right. Yeah. Okay, that was the end anyway. Yeah. I ain't got nothing to say. That was the end. That's all yeah, I got. Yeah, I mean, that was it. We pretty much have said everything. All right, man. Like always, like, comment, subscribe. Don't take a nosedive, but comment in the comment section, man. We'll see y'all.